What's up guys, Brian here, and well, I'm reviewing a backpack, but not just any backpack. A Razor backpack. Let's check it out. Let me bu let me start by saying I did not purchase this bag. Uh, it was given to me, and I was asked to make this review. But I already won the bag to begin with, so this was just a win-win. Now let's actually begin this review, and let me just say, wow. Now to be honest, the first time I heard about the new bag from Razer, I was a little skeptical, thinking it was going to be one of those cliche techie backpacks that have the audio routing systems that just pull out your earbuds and make you rage. But I was surprised to find out that this was not the case, and instead I was greeted with a very functional and very well-built bag. Now, uh, coming in at 119 US dollars, it's definitely a hard pill to swallow for some, but I think the price is justified by the quality and functionality. The Razer Tactical Backpack can hold your Razer Blade or any other 14-inch laptop, so, uh, sorry, 15-inch Mac Pro users. Rip. Granted that there is a Razer Tactical Pro backpack, which can hold up to the 17-inch laptops. Uh, it's mainly for the Razer Blade Pro, you know, genre of laptops. But again, if you want that, that'll cost you a little bit more than this one. This one's already, like, at a very steep price of 119 bucks. Yeah, it's not terribly cheap. I don't think it's too overpriced. I think what you get is definitely justified. So, uh, the exterior of this bag is tear and water resistant with a robust 1680D ballistic nylon, with the interior rocking a TPU scratch proof padding in certain areas like the tablet pouch and the laptop pouch, which is so you don't have to worry about your devices getting all scratched up when you're on the go and it's shaking around, you, you know, drop it on the floor. You don't have to worry about it. It's really, really nice. Uh, there's Velcro modular webbing in the front here. Uh, this is used for things like extra razor branding um, and uh, pouches that they actually sell on their website. Again, those are optional. Uh, they don't come with the backpack though, so you'll have to go buy those from Razor's website if you do want them. Now, talking about comfort, this bag is made to be worn properly. It's got the chest straps and uh, it's got really good padding on the back, really breathable material. We got the clips here chest grip. Um, the padding and the um, arms, I never think the, I don't know if it's just the type of backpacks I've worn over the years, but I've never found a backpack that has great like arm padding. And you know, it's not, like they're never bad, like they're never uncomfortable, but I just always think, you know, you could always just take it that one step higher and get it there. But uh, no, that that's not the case with this one. So yes, with the chest strap, prepare to be the nerdiest kid in your school rocking around with this backpack. I mean, you kind of already signed up for that when you got the uh, Razer logo right smack that. I honestly like the design. That's just me. I'm going to be rocking that this school year, so uh, prepare to see that. But now let's talk about each individual pouch. Let's talk about each individual pouch, starting with this front pouch actually up here. And this front pouch, pouch here, which has the tablet pouch, uh, two USB holders, some slots for some business cards and stuff up in here, and then just some like other pouches, mesh pouching, which I use just to hold like a USB hub and a USB wireless adapter. And then this other one, same pouch but has a zipper, I use these things for like CF cards and SD cards and that's why I use that so things that I don't want to go lose um, often and of course we got our two USB holder so I have two USBs in there one's a 16 gigabyte and the other one's like a 200 meg or something like that and then the towel pouch I don't use a tablet so uh, I got a 3DS for in case I'm on the go and I just need a game uh, wireless charger mainly for my phone I don't need like a big expensive one because I'm normally just needing to charge my phone if I already can't just plug it in to my laptop or any other computer there 
and a calculator. That's why I use the tablet uh, spot for, but also, say if you can't drive yet, don't worry, it's got like this little key thing, and it's actually got a button, so it slides off. It's actually really cool, really neat little feature, so if you have like a house key, it'll go perfectly right there. Moving on to the uh, next pouch, you have to actually unclip this. This is for waterproofing, by the way, and it lifts up just like so. And now we have, now this is probably the most common bag. It's nothing, you can't really see in there, but it's nothing but cargo space. And so, to simulate like school books, comic books, okay, that's just, that's just how I roll. So we got a Civil War here, and uh, the Death of Spider-Man, both great reads. And then in the pouch, I got a notebook, just when I'm writing stuff down, wireless speaker, Uh, gorilla prod for vlogging and that kind of stuff and then camera charger so obviously you can fit a lot more in there I didn't I just when I use it for school I'll fill it up with a lot more stuff but that's not right now so that's what's in your middle pocket now just to touch up on these side pockets real quick I use um, the perfect size for like wireless mice which I got right here this is a Logitech M305. Link will be in the links for all this stuff will be in the description, by the way, including the backpack. Um, and then there's two of them. I only use one of them for a wireless mouse, but you can use them for anything. Okay. Now this last portion is, of course, your laptop pouch. And right here, I have an HP Pavilion or Pavilion, just depending on however you want to pronounce it. Just has to be a 14. Now, granted, uh, you can put your razor blade in there, a 13-inch MacBook Pro, just any 14-inch or under laptop will fit perfectly. And I really like the laptop pouch in here because of its excellent padding, especially at the bottom. A lot of companies who make tech backpacks forget to add padding on the bottom, and that's just it's troublesome. So, HP uh, Pavilion or Pavilion, however you care to pronounce it. And that has a Core i3 processor in it. I don't know what the what its um, hertz are, but that's all I carry in the backpack. And as you see, it's quite a quite a bit, especially for what I use it for. So we got you know calculator, 3DS, all this good stuff. All that stuff I just mentioned before fit perfectly in the backpack, and I still had a lot of space to go in there. Like, there's still a lot more now, it's completely empty. And it's actually really super light when it's all empty, set out and empty. But uh, when it's not empty, it's kind of struggling a little bit. Now, I think the biggest downside for this product is the price and the lack of special placement for like pencils and writing utensils. Because not a single holder, especially in this first, where most backpacks excel at this, um, are places for like pencils. And as a person who, well, goes to school, I need a lot of pencils and pens. Don't really want to carry around a pencil bag and that kind of stuff. But, um, so it just would have been nice if they would have added that. Again, the price, I think it's justified. It's a little out there. Um, but I think the quality of the bag itself, cut proof, waterproof, I think that's all. So I, you know, I kind of see the price there. I don't really call that a downside. I say that's a downside for most people. I'm just trying to relate to you guys. That would be a downside for most people. But one thing I love about them, and I don't know if you notice, and that's these zippers. They, they take, okay, they're not hard to like zip open, zip shut, but they're not like super flimsy. My old laptop had a big problem with this. Okay, they were super easy to like zip. Not saying that these are hard. They're like that right amount of, they don't take too much to pull open, but they're not too light where I could just like breathe and it zips down. Now that's being dramatic, but you understand what I'm saying. Because my old backpack had super light zippers and I have in a year of use and the zipper broke. Not cool, okay? So if I were to give this backpack a rating out of 10, I'd give it a solid 9. I really love this backpack. I think it's going to serve me well for years. As a big tech person, I think this backpack is just going to come in handy, especially like for these side pockets for like wireless mice. That's just a big plus. Tablet pouch, USB holder pouch, just things I wouldn't even think of. Um, as a content creator too, those uh, pouches also in here that you could, those mesh pouches, which I fit my CF cards and SD cards in, those are huge. 
just for like anyone who does content creation or anyone who does work with a laptop. I like the whole separation of the laptop spot. In my old backpack, the laptop spot was in the main cargo spot. Kind of gets crowded in there with your books, folders, and a laptop. This makes it separate. Very well constructed. So, yep. 9 out of 10, guys. Make sure you share this video for anyone who you think can find this review helpful or just useful. Remember, all links will be down below in the description, guys. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it, disliked it. Well, if you thought it sucks and I need to improve because that's what I need. I need some feedback from you guys so I know how to keep doing this thing and doing it right, making good quality content. And if you really loved it, hit the subscribe button for more reviews like this and other types of videos like vlogs and that kind of stuff. It's funny they think that they got it. I got the game in my pocket. Asking to borrow what's mine. For real, little homie, just stop it. I told you I sleep in the tropics. I told you my women exotic. I told you that I got a fetish for sipping on wine and making this nonsense. Mind over matter, it matters. I got their heads stuck on the platter. Math like the hatter, pockets are fatter. I spit a verse and the haters they scatter. Ha! Doing my dance on them now. I wanna surf on the crowd.